right, thanks for being here. Hey, guys, big news. Big news over the weekend. Uh, the Dakota Access Pipeline, which the Sioux Tribe has been protesting for months, uh, the news came out that will no longer be routed through their land, which is... <laughs> It's a, it's a big win for Native Americans. And now, if the next 9 billion, 900 million things go their way, we can finally call it even. <laughs> um... <laughs> but uh, it's been an amazing move. Protesters from all over the country have gathered there. I like to imagine the guy who was late and just got there today. Like, <laughs> I'm here. How can I help? We did it? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> The Native American people who've been protesting announced that their fight is far from over, but for now, uh, hippies with guitars can stop coming to help them. <laughs> um, but this was kind of a blow to the oil executives who say they plan to regroup, replan, and look for alternate ways to ruin our environment. So, <laughs> look forward to that. Uh, <laughs> In political news, Donald Trump has announced another cabinet position. Dr. Ben Carson, who ran against him in the primary, has been nominated for Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. What I just get the feeling that Trump heard the word urban and immediately just started thinking, who do I know who's black? Trump actually first announced this in a tweet, and it becomes official as soon as Congress retweets it. I, <laughs> I think that's how the US government works nowadays. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even, how did Ben Carson even get that job? He's a renowned brain surgeon. Like, he's brilliant at that. Having Ben Carson be the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development is like having LeBron James cut your hair. <laughs> Like, he's great at a thing, but the thing he's good at isn't the thing you need him to be good at. <laughs> ben Carson's lone qualification to be Secretary of Housing is that he lives in a house. <laughs> now, clearly, uh, there's lots of big, important stuff going on in the news. So, of course, America is obsessed with something called the Apple Challenge, where people are attempting to rip an apple apart with their bare hands. Like this. Clap it. <laughs> this is the biggest waste of apples since Mum started packing apples in school lunches. <laughs> but it's like they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away until you try to rip one apart and give yourself a hernia. Now, <laughs> I'll take this apple challenge, right? As long as the apple is very ripe and that apple is a peeled banana. <laughs> Finally, I want to show you this. A man in Oregon was arrested and booked and ended up posing for a very unique mugshot. Uh, let's see if you can notice what makes this mugshot different. <laughs> That's right. He's got a full beard. <laughs> He's got a pet parrot in the mugshot. I have to imagine this was an easy job for the detectives. <laughs> Did he have any distinguishing features? Um, yeah, he did, actually. It was, uh, That bird probably saw the prison and was like, this is the biggest birdcage I've ever seen. <laughs> we did it. We've made it, Craig. <laughs> um, the only thing I'm wondering, what was the charge? Beaking and entering? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're gonna regret applauding that. <laughs> Jay squawking? Between this <laughs> bird degree murder, <laughs> arson, <laughs> burglary, <laughs> getting a DU fly, <laughs> illegal, illegal parking. <laughs> That's so awful. That's it. I'm done. Those were so bad. I know. I don't go. I, no, come on. I. I apologise, there will be no more foul play tonight. There it is! Oh!